Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we want to create, learn how to create title blocks or title sheets as the case may be. So in this project, I want to create a title sheet for me to be able to print my project. So let's go straight to it. So if you look at your project browser, there's a list of categories of tools you can use here or views. So we we'll go to sheets go to sheets new sheet load so i have a title block by folder so i'll go to where i have a sample i have one a3 sample panel yes click on the title sheets you want to load when you click on it you load it say okay so my title sheet is loaded for to view your title sheet Click on the plus sign, drop down to on the title sheet. As you can see, after it. so down, we want to edit our title block or title sheet to uh, to give us whatever parameters or whatever details we want to. So to do that, click on the title sheet, click on edit family. So let's start from notes. So for architects, you can put your architectural notes, structural and designer put your structural notes. For example, we say all dimensions to be cross checked by a So you can add as much notes as you like, if you like you can number them. Then project title, you can leave it as, for example, proposed residential development. You can make it small letter, you can make it capital letter, if you like. Let's see. Location for example at New York Avenue Yes, you can actually use that whatever location you want to client. Mm. We just leave that as client for now. So you see your drawing title and your drawing sheet. These are actually labels. They're actually labels. There's a difference between label and text. The label as your sheets are being added, they change. We have two different, three of them here. We have the sheet name, the scale, and your sheet number. They are actually labels. They actually give you, they actually change as your sheet changes. So, consultant, let's make that. address phone and email address of of the consultant company whichever if you like don't want that then the project number let's give it project whatever you want project slash 2020 slash let's say three zero three by the 
this and make that. Print it. And the copy that. Then I want it. Check by. Generate to T. T. So basically, you have done. I think basic things you need an architectural type of You can actually add any other parameter you want by adding or removing the lines, editing the lines. So once you're done with that, you save Ctrl S, save it. You see, close, let's close this, right. So as you can see, your title sheet has been added. Okay. Something else you can change here, you can actually right click this and rename it. Let's say A A01 Rename this, let's say Capital Italia Ground Floor Okay So for subsequent sheets, you don't need to do all this editing again You just Right click this, say new sheet, load it, A3 sample panel, okay. Automatically it will name it 2. You can add more, A3 sample panel. You see the numbers are adding a uh, continuum, just like I told you, those ones are labels. So it will reflect on the sheet and whatever name you give it, it will reflect. Let's go back to our ground floor, you can see the drawing, not, drawing title has changed. There is no drawing there, so there is no scale for now. So let's say let's say we name this one ground flow into uh, roof plan. Okay, let's name this one front view. Okay, let's do that one. So to add your drawing, you go to the particular sheet you want to add a drawing right click on this add view select different views you have here so I'll go to my floor plan natural area I have so let's go to our ground floor I want to add the sheet here right click add view so we'll click on that add it actually move that the sheet as you can see this is our sheet you can actually edit this still edit the floor plan inside the sheet so if you click here as you can see you can actually edit it just like in AutoCAD where you can be your model space your sheet space and still be not uh, editing your model space so when you can double click that or double click outside the model inside the title sheet so from here if as you can see the, the drawing is as uh, too small so you can actually edit the scale here let's make this scale 1 to 50 and see okay i think we can go with this so as you can see you can actually edit your scale even in your title sheet let's go to the roof plan do the same add to your roof level it's too small I'm actually change it to 1 to 15 bring it back in So as you can see, add view. South. Yeah. Let's go on to 100. I'll actually change it to whatever I want. Let's go on to 50. So depending on how you want it, you can actually double click inside and edit this. If you see that it's too much, bring this in. Let's hide that. 
from our previous tutorial we showed how to hide our crop region and all that let's hide our crop region so it's as simple as that you actually add as many sheets as you like you can actually add image to a title block whichever title block title sheet you select you can edit it let's assume our client or our client has uh, logo for example let's choose one let's say our client is for example coca cola or pepsi so pepsi for example I actually add image a logo or something go to image select let's say pepsi as you can see the image is too big you can actually scale it to whatever you want for example let's just say this is the logo of pepsi so this save it replace close and override so the beauty of revit is that whatever you do for edit and the whatever, whatever sheet you are you edit it will affect all sheets as you can see all my sheets have the logo i don't need to edit anything for it separate sheets you set the name set those labels that change as you can see this is going to quickly so too many other things you can add image and you can even add image without editing the sheets for example i want to put a picture here of pepsi or something or a picture of pepsi the front view or something like that go to insert image select whatever i want let's see this image pepsi same process same as adding it on the title sheet you can actually do this for your 3d and other other sheets or wherever so with this now if you want to change the proportion of the sheets you can actually do this or bring it back to the original size you can unlock this whichever one you like bring it forward or backward whichever one you prefer so as you can see simple ways of editing your sheets to whatever you want thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe our page for more youtube channels thank you